My name is Ryan James Pearson, or Rhapsody here on the internet, and welcome to the state of the channel for the 9th of April 2019. We've got a fair bit to get through, so let's start at the very top of the list. The most important thing, the thing that is completely consuming my mind space at all times, the thumbnail demon! The thumbnail demon is a YouTube processing bug that occasionally affects videos of mine, but more recently it's affecting more of them than it isn't, where every 30 seconds two frames of the thumbnail will appear in the video. There's very little I can do about this, unfortunately. It is something that happens on YouTube's end. I've contacted YouTube about it, and their response was... This is a PG channel, right? So, um... Unsatisfactory. That's probably the harshest word I can use, but... God knows I have many more. Uh, it wasn't really good. Their first response was... No other creator has reported this issue to us. Which is effectively them saying... This is on your end. No, it wasn't. So I immediately linked them to a bunch of other creators reporting it to them. It was just handy to have on hand. Thank you, Arvac, for having reported it earlier, and Manglepork, Bentham, and a couple of other people for having responded in those comments with their own issues with the thumbnail demon. Unfortunately, YouTube is entirely unaware of it. They have no clue that it's going on, and Consequently, don't seem to have any plans to fix it in the near future. So all I can do on my end is screen the videos before they go live to try and catch the thumbnail demon in the act, take that video down, upload another copy of that video, wait for it to fully process, and then check that. Which is an incredibly time laborious task. So that's all I can do. I've done it a couple of times. I found the thumbnail demon before a video has gone actually live, taken down the video, re-uploaded it. But, not always. So if it does happen to occur in any video that you happen to see, please just say, hey, thumbnail demon's here, or there's flickering, or something like that. As soon as I can get to it, sometimes I'll be asleep, so it might be a couple of hours. But as soon as I can get to it, I'll take that video down and re-upload another one. It does apparently appear to be the case that about 14 hours after a video goes live, it resolves itself, but at the same rate, I'm not super keen on causing nausea in anyone who wants to watch it for the first 14 minutes. 14 minutes, 14 hours that it's been live on YouTube. So, the thumbnail demon has struck again. Hopefully it lessens over the near future. Next thing up, Risk of Rain 2 and Sekiro. Two games that I do want to cover on the channel, but will not be covering in the near future for these reasons following. Risk of Rain 2, I don't feel, is necessarily content complete, or feature complete, or even polish complete enough for me to really want to do it as a series. Uh, I played Risk of Wayne 1, I did it a lot, in fact it was probably one of the first series on the channel, yeah it was Rogue Legacy then Risk of Rain 1 on the channel. I adore Risk of Rain. A lot of the polish issues with Risk of Rain 2 are preventing me from having a good time with it at the moment. So I don't really feel like that would be conducive to making good content on the game. If you are looking for content on Risk of Rain 2, I would heavily recommend Shiny Rockwaza, linked in the description below, and Biznap, linked in the description below as well. Uh, second, Sekiro, Shadow Star Twice. This is the next FromSoft game. I mean, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, I've covered all of these on the channel. If Bloodborne was a PC game, I would have covered it as well. Why am I not doing Shadows Die Twice yet? Well, there's a lot else on my plate at the moment, frankly. Uh, with Enter the Gungeon having its final DLC released and being a game that I am entirely enamored with, as well as Slay the Spire consistently being kind of not only the lifeblood of the channel, but also a really, really intriguing series to me. I just love games with so many randomized elements that you just never really have the same run twice. And the Slay the Spire Modern series, I don't necessarily have time to cover Shadows Die twice, especially because it's a giant time commitment itself. It's not a particularly short game. It is, by all accounts, a masterpiece from the people that I've heard at the very least talking about it, uh, but I can't cover it just yet. It is, however, going to consistently remain high priority for me until I eventually, inevitably, cover it on the channel. Next up, why the inconsistency? So there's been a lot of schedule inconsistency over the last, um, uh, I don't wear a watch. So, let's say, three, two, two, three months, around there? Why? Well, this is probably going to be the least animate uh, part of this state of the channel, but um, 
my brain kind of fell out of my head for a while, which is the euphemism of choice on my part for not having a good mental health time. Uh, take care of yourselves, folks. Uh, don't do what Donnie Don't did, which is uh, sleep for about 14 hours a day, and then lie in bed for another four, and then gradually get the bare minimum of what I was capable of done. It doesn't help. It just prolongs it, I've found. Uh, I'm feeling much more functional and kind of much more capable and ready to take on the world right now, considering the fact that I'm talking directly to a camera. I would not have done this at any point over the last... Still not wearing a watch. But, I'd like to say that I'm feeling a lot better at the moment. Hopefully that continues. If not, I'll be sure to make you aware. On probably Discord or Twitter. Next up! Hearthstone content. Just go dip deep down into depression and then back up into the glorious heights of Hearthstone content. So I haven't necessarily finished the puzzle labs that I was doing and uh, reason is aforementioned. Uh, and I didn't do the rumble run because I hadn't yet finished the puzzle labs. Am I going to be covering the single player content that's going to come out in the next expansion for Hearthstone? Short answer, yes. Long answer, This room has an echo. <laughs> I hope that wasn't picked up as much as it sounded like it definitely was. I'm definitely interested in doing that. I love Hearthstone. I think it's actually a really, really good game, and especially because I've been playing since Hearthstone came out of beta, I have enough of a card set to not really concern myself with whether or not it has a good monetization model. It doesn't. But I'm already on the right side of it, so I'm feeling comfortable to cover any new content that comes out for that game, specifically single player content. I'm not super interested in going back into Arena or Ranked. All right, is that it? That's it for the moment. So the schedule as it currently stands is actually going to be two Enter the Gungeon videos a day, one Slay the Spire and one Slay the Spire modded. You can see at what point in your time zone those videos come out at the link in the description down below. It should be linked there, Wrap Schedule, I have to imagine it's linked as. Uh, you'll be able to find on the bottom of that sheet page your time zone, hopefully, or a time zone near you, and be able to figure when those videos come out in your specific region. Well, that's actually it. I said we had a lot to cover, but apparently not. So, all I have to do here at the very end is lean off camera, which is obviously bad practice, and thank those of you who are supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash RhapsodyPlays at the $10 or above tier, including Tiger Army, Banana Nar, Alien Renders, Raz, Harkonian, James Cooper, 1L, Carpy, Kaze, Carl of the Wild, Kyle, Disnomia, Neo, Nathan McBrady, Hidden Dark, Vecrurius, and Ballard. If you would like to support me, you can find that link in the description down below as well. And, of course, the link to Twitter, Curious Cat if you want to ask any questions, as well as my own personal Discord. My name has been Ryan James Pearson, or Rhapsody here on the channel. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves with whatever series you choose to watch, and hopefully we'll see you next time.